Hi, my name is Paul Palmer. Today I want to talk about key performance indicators, how they're used and how they're misused. Well, in pharmaceuticals in particular, we, we really enjoy measuring things, tracking the numbers. So, how many deviations did you have this month? Oh, you need too many, you need to get it down. Oh, that's not enough. We need to make sure we're making opportunities for improvement. Cappers, how many done? How many are overdue? Maybe not considering how many have been extended. How many risk assessments did we carry out? How many rejects? How many products in quarantine? How many receipts? But some people just use the numbers as numbers. They just present them on a graph on the screen and don't do anything with them. So what's the point? It's always good to have some balance, have a balanced scorecard so that you know what's happening, what the trend is. Because the numbers today, if, they, if you don't know whether they were higher or lower than last month or last week, what difference does it make? You want to look for the trend. You want to look for what's happening in the business so you can make decisions. The important thing when you select your key performance indicators is to consider what you're going to do with the results. If you're not going to do anything with the results, why bother collecting the data in the first place? If you decide that you want to use the data to make a decision to make an improvement to the business, then that's data, that's a key performance indicator worth having. And then you want to think about how best to collect it to make sure it's accurate, but also to make sure it's timely. When you're collecting the data and it takes two days to put it all together in, for a report that's going to be presented in half an hour, then that's two days of somebody's time that you've wasted really because you should really be looking at how to collect the data on an ongoing basis so that you can just present it. What I find is that the most efficient way is through an electronic quality management system. So if your data is already in the system, then you can create the scorecard, the balanced scorecard automatically. Get the system to collect the data that it's already holding and nobody can make a mistake because the computer is doing it for you. Nobody can adjust the figures just because they don't want it to look bad for themselves. You get the real data and you can see, all oh, right, we've got an adverse trend, we've got repeat occurrence of this one, and we've got cappers that were not effective. What are we gonna do about it? And you talk about the things that you need to make a decision on, not just numbers. And that's the important thing. You use their data, you use the key performance indicators, they are numbers, yeah, but use them to make a decision so that you can improve the efficiency of your business, so that you can get your product to market faster, more reliably, more on time, in full, and don't have the rejects that cost you, and then you realize that you're not actually making a profit on the product anyway. So that's it for me for today. Make sure you look at your key performance indicators before you start collecting the data, to decide what you're going to do with it. Talk to you soon. It's Paul Palmer. Bye-bye.